Welcome on in everyone, everyone to Comic Book Women. Sorry we were a teeny bit late. We were having some good discussions backstage. But for those of you in the chat already, let's see who we have. We got Chad Cave. What's up? Uh, he said he's ready for this. So are we. This is this is a good one. I'm excited about it. Double J can't go wrong with Nakayama, killer cover artist. Chad agrees. And so do we, obviously. That's why we picked him for tonight. Uh, before we get started, thank you so much, Ant from Bird City Comics, for joining us tonight. No problem. My invoice is in the mail. <laughs> you can't charge me. Can he? Can he? Maybe he can. Yeah. All right. You know, you know, not at all. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Try it. Try it and see what happens. <laughs> Red Hood, thanks so much for coming out. We appreciate having you on with us again. Uh, thanks for having me. Just uh, uh, you talking David Nakayama. He's one of my favorite artists. So, like, kind of wanted to see what you guys have for tonight. Okay, wait. You you got to elaborate here because when, when we told uh, when we told everyone we were doing Akiyama, I got hit up. Brad Hood hooks me up. He's like, you know, should we have him on the show? Do you know him personally? Like, what's your relationship? No, just through uh, Instagram. Uh, we were going to have him on uh, Deal or Flip Side, but it fell through. He had uh, he, Wednesdays were pretty tough, and that's when we were doing it. And he was having to pick up his kids, and uh, just time time wise, it wasn't good for him. So. Uh, I saw that you guys were, were doing a Nakayama show. So I said, well, let me hit him up. And like, I guess he's busy, but man, if I would have known y'all were doing it, Nakayama, like a couple of days ago, I could have been pestering him and we could have probably had him on. Uh, it was like a Cause last he, minute thing, right? Yeah, Cause he's a cool guy. You know, he, he answers his, his question, questions and stuff like that. So, you know, All right, so what do we know about Nakayama? We know that he's born in Hawaii, Honolulu, I believe, yeah? Uh, back mm -hmm. in 78. How old does that make him? Doesn't matter. He's super talented. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> I know he still lives there because I, I shipped him his comps, and I packed them, and then I was like, I saw the label, and I'm like, oh, hell no, I better double, triple box these because <laughs> 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 those islands gets extra kicked around. Yeah, he seems like a really cool dude, too. I saw a couple of interviews with him, just really laid back, um, really humble, mm -hmm. considering how talented this guy is. Um, he's pretty well known for his X-Men work. When, when I think Nakayama, I think I think X-Men. What do you guys think? Yeah. Uh, there's I don't know. There's a lot of them, but definitely, I guess, X-Men. I remember at the beginning, when I first uh, started and seen his stuff, uh, and now see how far he has come and it, it's pretty awesome to see his work is getting better you know yeah. and uh a lot of artists you know they they stay you know if if it's not broken they don't fix it you know this guy just continues to evolve and uh that's you know that's why i try to get him on it's like you know the work just keeps getting better and better and he's got a lot of knockout covers out there a lot of uh, cool variants so yep. um he's a he's a guy to start picking up his stuff you know yeah. you had a picture on on your um your marquee for the show with that that uh that scarlet witch that's a badass cover man. oh we're gonna get to that that one yeah that one's insane but i completely agree with you he's so dynamic he doesn't just have like one style and that's it like he can do so much so guys i'm pulling a gen here I had to keep the show and the slides pretty short, so I could not possibly cover all of his amazing covers. There are so many good ones. I, I we would be here all night if I went through all the ones that I just absolutely love. So we had to kind of that guy's whole catalog, and, and they'd I, all be good. Yeah, there there weren't any bad ones. I was like, I can't I can't pick any. Like, so I had to like just be very strategic. We'll probably have to do a part two, maybe even a part three for David because his stuff is just. We should it's do insane. a David Nakayama art versus episode and crown a champion. 
<laughs> see. Well, he posted on his uh, Instagram, like which of his stuff this year got the most likes. And we're going to be covering one of those. We'll get to that here in a few minutes, but I'm getting a tad ahead of myself. I forgot at the beginning. Before we start the show, I need to shout out our sponsors over at Cover Price. Thank you so much for sponsoring Comic Book, Comic Book Women. If you guys haven't already, if you go to their site and use code FLIPSIDE, you get two months of their unlimited membership for $1.99 a month. And I think everybody on the panel tonight, we all use Cover Price, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how you can't if you're a collector and if you're... For sure. It's a good resource for you guys to have. Um, for everybody in the chat, thank you guys so much for joining in. Make sure you give the show a thumbs up and share it out. We are here every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, Laura, you do me a favor. What? Can you pull up Gwenpool number 17? I got you. Oh, yeah, Anthony I has you, access you, to all you this. May, you may or may not have this cover, but I I kind of wanted it. It's one of my favorite covers. Oh. Uh, that Nakayama's done. And if I could get I, him to sign it, like uh, sign a slab, slab for me, cracking slab, I would. I did not pull any Gwen. I know that he has that Gwenverse cover coming up, uh, which is already just um, it's everywhere. It's fantastic, but I don't think I pulled anything else. You got it, Ant? Yeah, sorry, your son popped in here. He's asking for stuff, so hold on one sec. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, these kids, right? I, I got it pulled up, sharing the screen, and all right, just let her in. All right, there we go. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Yeah, that's... Mama! <laughs> Love that one. Yeah. Is that, that cover great. not freaking awesome? Yeah. killer. Yeah, I remember this cover when it came out, yeah. The selfie angle. What does this go for? Uh, you not know, a lot, right? So you can get them on the cheap at Midtown right now for about four bucks. What? Yeah. So uh, it's on sale. So you heard it here first. Like, oh, I, that's awesome! I like the selfie angle. That's really cute. I, I just I, I I like the color wig. You know, all the pink and everything. It just looks cool. Mm. Sold. And she's Reason. throwing up the peace sign. You know. Yeah, these are awesome. Anthony's shopping. I can tell by all the clicking. I'm, I'm looking, and, and he's right. <laughs> four fifty three. They got ten percent off. Uh, they're good limited. Good, uh, limited one per value. customer. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's really cute. Put, that's put a good a couple one. in your cart. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah you know what you know what it is about Nakayama that that oh. does it. I think for a lot of people, is mm -hmm. that he teeters on that cartoony fun, but they're still realistic enough where they're cutesy. You yeah. know, some people go too cartoony and you're like, oh, it's a cartoon. It's oh, weird yeah. that that's hot. And then you teeter back to the other one and then you're like, okay, that's ultra realistic. I dig it. He finds that nice medium where they're they're fun, good looking. Kind of like a cross between Turner, Greg Horn, Campbell, all mashed into one yeah. glorious pile. You got it. So that's his that's his realm that he lives right there. Because yeah, Greg Horn does like realistic looking chicks and you're like, okay, that could be a person walking down the street. Uh, so he's got a cool, unique style. All right, very cool. All right, well, let's let's kick it off. So first up tonight, and guys, I am not Jen, so it's going to be a little bit different how I did the slides tonight. So bear with me here. Uh, I, I did it a little bit different, but I think you guys are going to like them. Let's start with this one. I threw this up because I think it's <laughs> first off, it's affordable. So if you're if you're you know looking for like a under five dollar buy, this would be a good one to grab. And I think the synopsis of this story sounds so cool. It's called Planet of the Nerds, and this was printed by Ahoy Comics. Has anybody heard of this tonight? No. No. <laughs> so basically, what it's about is like a group of jocks that get like frozen in the eighties, and they wake up, and nerds have like taken over the planet. Yeah. <laughs> I think it sounds cute. And he did this one. There's a total of five of them in the series, but I don't know. So David, if you're out there watching and this is one that you liked or enjoyed doing, let me know. That's pretty funny. Cause <laughs> well, I, and I like that it's, it's on a Hoi comics. You guys remember that uh, like Momoko started doing a lot of her work with source point. And then, you know, you ask somebody to go, Hey, you know, Momoko and they think Marvel automatically. So this is, it's cool. Cause you get to dig back in the roots a little bit and see that they did some of these smaller publisher covers and, 
and you can't go wrong with with nerds reactions to or jocks reactions to nerds taking over the world so it's got to be epic <laughs> <laughs> it's like 21 jump street remember he used to be cool and then the nerds had taken over <laughs> yeah it says three high school jocks in the 1980s are accidentally frozen by experimental uh some experimental device only to be revived in a world controlled by nerds. <laughs> I mean, that sounds great to me. I don't know. I think nerds control yeah. the world already, man. I was going to say, <laughs> they press all the buttons already. <laughs> As we're sitting here on our podcast, we're all nerds. Right. I'm proud of you one though. I thought it was Zach Morris in the middle. It kind of looks like it. Yeah. Dude, but that, anyway, right on. anyway, yeah. Uh, Three bucks, roughly, for the raw comic. You might be lucky enough to find these in some back issue bins, or there was somebody that went out and graded it. <laughs> Got a nine eight for forty three dollars. Any nice. option news or anything? Not or yet, it? nothing okay. yet. But I mean, there could be. I think it has the potential to be a fun show or something. I yep. love it. That's a cool one. That's a cool off the beaten path cover. Good, good choice there, Laura. Ah, thanks. All right, let's keep. Going. Oh, yeah. Nakayama did do a lot of Xenoscope work in early on, a lot of the pinups. He did the Rapunzel cover. Where she's yeah. laying in with her feet yeah. back. Yeah. Remember, we, I remember we had a bunch of those. Yeah. When we first started, we sold that, a lot of that one. All right. Next up. This was one of Jen's pick, and it was on the thumbnail. I'm not sure. She probably just liked the fact that you have Spider Man finally in the storyline facing Doc Ock. But what do you guys yeah, think the, of this one? The City of War storyline is badass anyway. A lot of action if you like Spidey covers. And then, you know, we just had the movie where where uh, Otto Octavius makes his uh, appearance back into the new Spider. Well, I'm, I'm calling it a Spider-Verse movie. Um, but so you kind of get hitting on all the elements, plus the affordability, plus it's a David Nakayama. You got to love those uh, those red solid colored backgrounds. I mean, th this is a cool one you can pick up now. It's it's definitely one. I think that's why she picked it. it it's badass. It's affordable. It hits on all the buttons that's that's current and happening. Yeah, good choice, Jen. All right, what do you think, Joe? Uh, I'm a Spidey guy, so I there's not many Spider-Man covers that that I'm not gonna like, but this one stands out. You know, it 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 looks expensive, you know, yeah. but it's not. So th those are the ones to scoop up, you know, because yeah. eventually they'll 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 grow in price. I mean, that's just variant Spider-Man, you know, and then Nakayama on on the come up like that that's a book that eventually will go up yeah and i think also it's like finally like a different post because they always every time i see a spider-man book it's always the same post and this is completely different than what yeah. you usually see i like i like it. that good call mm -hmm. i i have a two comments to make real quick yeah does anybody else think nacho mama when you think nakiyama that's number one <laughs> I don't of know why in my head I was like, not your mama. Of course. Anyway, of course super would. side note. Um, and then Red Hood, <laughs> why are you a Spider-Man guy? Because I'm not a Spider-Man guy. I think the character's cool. I think the design's cool. I always assume <laughs> that people identify with the characters they like. Um, so if you're a Spider-Man guy, what, what, what is it about him? What is it about Spidey? Oh, man. Yeah. Um, I guess when I started collecting when I was a kid, um, he was like the... The first comics that I started reading, I started like back in 82, 83 and started, uh, I think the Hobgoblin run was uh, the the first one I, I, I started reading. And then, of course, uh, Secret Wars kind of uh, cemented that for me. I thought it was just um, it was badass. And then Black Suit Spidey and and on and on and on, you know, just became a fan right in that that era. So I like it. it and then uh, from a collectible standpoint too, I worked in a comic shop and uh, ASMs like retained their value and grew up, grew in value. So, uh, you know, along with collecting, I, you know, I was pretty savvy back then. Um, like I didn't want to throw away my money. So um, there you go. Nice. Yeah, my, my, my uncle said, like, if you, if you're going to collect, you know, Amazing Spider-Man is, is the one to collect. Don't collect Peter Parker or <laughs> Spectacular. Yeah, had a boy. That guy put you on the right path. I like it. Yeah. No, it's uh, cool because everybody identifies. What were you going to say, Laura? Because I know like Laura's Iron Man and Doctor Strange, right? 
Mm -hmm. because they're both super intelligent people and Laura digs that type of person. Well, I like, I like the kind of people that are super intelligent. Um, Not that I'm saying I am, but I just, I like that, that level of genius that some people just can't stand that personality. They're too cocky. They're too, uh, I don't know. What's the word? They come off as insulting because they're so smart that they can't communicate right. And that's kind of how right. I feel about both those two characters. But really quickly, what I was going to say is we have Trish Forstner in the house. Boom. Superstar. Oh, you know. Happy oh, birthday. Happy belated oh, yeah. birthday. It's her birthday? Yesterday. Her birthday was yesterday. Oh, happy birthday. She's awesome, dude. She sure is. <laughs> like, if I could get her to do a cover, I would have her do, like, Crypto. Like Superman's dog on Ooh. a stray dog's blank cover. Like, I think we can arrange that, dude. Yeah. Like, like All I, right, would, pay, I would pay her some money. <laughs> yes, she is. Yeah, well, pretty good. soon here, we're gonna be we're gonna have a whole tab just on the Bird City site of all Trish stuff. So all of her stuff that she wants yeah. to just whenever she's bored and she's drawing something, we'll just start selling that stuff. Yeah, the Condescending. Line, the line yes. was so big for Trish's uh, autos there at right. at Baltimore. I was like, fuck, dude. I don't want it. To oh, she did mind. it. She did it, Joe. I want to see. But she did a crypto? Get out of uh, here. Sounds like oh, it. Oh, you got to send it to her. Yeah, I mean, you uh, you send it to her. Eye, she's legit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Steve oh. Horn. <laughs> See. That's awesome. And yeah, happy birthday. Uh, let's see here. Did you did a crypto? Let me see. Let me see. I, I'll look at <sighs> things and I'll send it to or you. Right. You got to do the thing. We got 38 viewers right now. So make sure that you guys are doing Giving what? us a thumbs up. Make sure that you are following the channel if you're not already. This channel has so much good content throughout the week. Every single day, there's something different. Uh, and again, thank you so much to Ant over at Bird City Comics and Joe at Red Hood Comics. Or Red Hood Comics, sorry, for joining us tonight. Yeah, Trish don't, put, little, or, what, yeah don't put the S. Cause don't put the, the S. Guy, yeah, the guy at Red Hood Comics, uh, we got into it at Baltimore. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, wait, are you being serious? Is there really a Red Hood Comics? Yeah, and uh, his name is uh, 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 Rob from Rob's Comics. He calls himself Red Hood Comics. And so he he hit me up. He wanted me to change my name, and I said, "Well, it's not the same name. My, it's all together, and there's no S at the end. <laughs> it's right. like McDowell's, you know, with Versus the arches. McDonald's. But I have they the got arts. you all be patty special sauce, but ours has no sesame seeds on the bun. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> Phil, Phil took me over to his table, and I handed him my business card, and he goes, "Hey, you're the one I told to change his name." And I go, <laughs> and I was just like. Now when I'm are we gonna have are we gonna have a problem? <laughs> are we doing this right here? Are we gonna, doing yeah, this? Are, like are we doing this right now? Or what <laughs> Phil was just like, yeah. oh shit. Uh but, Laura, can I do a shameless plug? Do you mind? No, I go guess. ahead, plug away. So a, a couple things. I hired some new people that now work for Bird City Comics. Um, I've yes. got what I'm calling a warehouse manager. We'll see. Um, and then um I brought on uh another um a female employer, she's younger. Because she's going to run a lot of our social media. <laughs> That's why we did it that way. Yeah. Uh, she's so, a genius. Yeah. Go and check out our, our TikTok, our Instagram. She revamped everything, retagged everything. And even Laura uh, is ex- Instagram's games going up. So if you guys want, give her a follow at Miss Bird City. Mrs. Mrs. Bird City. Mrs. Bird City. Mrs. Yeah, Bird City. You don't even know. Uh, but yeah, follow our Instagram. Check out our Facebook page. Uh, we're on TikTok now, apparently. I guess yeah, we're, we're doing TikTok. Oh, I, I see it. I see she's, you. She's she's doing all of those. So yeah, um, we're gonna be nice. doing whatnot sales more often now. When she's in the warehouse, I'm gonna have sure. her do some whatnot sales. Um, she's fantastic. She's fun to talk to. So show her some love. Show up for that stuff. Oh, yeah. Red Hood. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send it to you. Uh, Trish, just send the 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 picture. Oh, she. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll send it to you. Let me send it to you real quick. Yeah, no, everybody. Send it to oh. Ant because then we can put it on the screen. We'll oh, send it to okay. both of them. All right, let's keep going while they're doing that. Next up, guys, if you are just joining tonight, we are spotlighting the great David Nakayama, one of, I think, everybody's favorites. I've never met anybody that's not just like going nuts over this guy. So here mm. we go. Mm, I knew you were going to say that. Mm. Now, I know this is Inferno issue number one. He did number two and three as well. He did Emma Frost. I didn't have enough time and space to include all of them. So you'll have to research those yourself. 
Yeah, this is actually, this is one of my favorites of his. He said when he was developing this piece that he likes how her powers and the artistic technique of that color bleeding kind of pull this piece together. Yeah. I that, mean, this, this makes... color is a home run. Any other color, this mm -hmm. one. Well. What color do you think it is? Like, it's not baby blue. Mm. You know what I mean? But it's it's teetering towards that. It's not so tense. It's, I don't know. It's 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 not dark and broody like the character. It's kind of inviting like party blue. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Joe, do you have this? Are you reaching for it? Uh, I it, it's a it's a gamma blue. Gamma blue. Gamma. Oh. Gamma. Nice. Wait, what's that paint for? Oh, uh, for like I I do uh uh for shoes. Hey, yeah, do touch I up? Up, yeah, I paint up nice. shoes and stuff like that, and do some. I need to send you my drips to keep them fresh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to do that uh, on the side, man, but it just took cool. so much time. All right, so yeah, you guys, out of layers, babe. Check this out, though. This book, which I think is phenomenal, I think you guys will agree, mm. is going for fifteen bucks raw. Really? That's it. Yeah, so but here's here's like the wow the tricky part. Like it is a store exclusive, um, but it doesn't say how many there were. So I don't know what these are limited to. There's a thousand of them, at least, right? Yeah, and Virgin variants typically sell twenty four ninety nine on up. So fourteen ninety nine means it hasn't retained its launch value. But again, there's a thousand. It's hard, like. Your store exclusives on Marvel stuff, you're not going to see a big rise in value until a few years down the road where people have ruined their copies or thrown them away or lost them. And awesome. then it's really deplenished the depleted, excuse me, the, the amount that are circulating. Um, so this is one I would hold on to stash, get a couple nice copies, you know, mile arm and put them away in four or five years from now when you can't find people can't find their copies. I bet you this has some better value. I get this. I get this beauty. Grade it. Get it graded. Put that on the wall, man. I kind of want one. Can I get one more? Yeah. So number two is uh, Emma Frost, which is, again, I wanted to put it up, but I just didn't have the time and space. But it's the whole, like, it's the white on white, and it's gorgeous. Um, mm. All right. So, like, let's start with, we'll start with Lucy. Lucy, what do you think of this one? Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I it, Again, I really like that he does, like, the poses, like, that he does, they're, I don't know. Like this one, I feel like she's ready to attack. Like she's pushing like a, up. She, she's got that chameleon pose. Like she's going to yeah. walk up the wall and that's kind of her power. Yeah. yeah. I like, I like, I, I, that's something that I like. And, and the, like, and the colors too, like have the red, the reddish hair. Like, mm. like it, 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 it's pretty, everything kind of stands out. The you know? eyes. Even though, yeah. Like I, I really like it. So even the like, even though they're small, the lips, you know, like how it, it stands out. I like it. I really like this. I'm looking it up on eBay right now because I'm just curious. Yeah, no, it's fifteen dollars. Buy it now, but oh. that's not the Virgin. Okay, so the Virgin one of this one is going for thirty three or best offer. Okay. There you go. So it's starting to go up. The trade is still in the fifteen dollar range, but the the Virgin's increasing because I I think with these like you, you want the Virgin, right? With yeah. this one, yeah. With this one, you know how I usually yeah. like the tray. Usually, I go with the tray. I I haven't seen the way how the tray looks, but I really <laughs> like this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading the comments. They call him Green Label Joe when he sold the the ink. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is the, where was that? You said it. They call him Green Label Joe. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Come on, Steve, <laughs> old bro. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, Steve. I, I got Steve's all. comics here. They're about I'm, to get green labels. I'm about to make them purple labels, bro. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> They're all That's debating on the cover words. here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah, $15. Again, if you guys get, if you have the opportunity to snag this one up, I think it's definitely worth it. He did an entire um, it's a set of cover. these. It is. It's badass. Mm -hmm. There's no other way of putting it. The, the face is gorgeous. The like what Lucy was his, saying. This he's got one of the coolest signatures, you know, <laughs> it, just, it looks like DNA, you know what I mean? Yep. Absolutely. Right. And it goes at like a 3d effect. It's just a cool sig. What would yours be like a faux hawk? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, <nah, laughs> quit picking on me. <laughs> it would just be like, mm. 
And then we would know. We're like, oh, that's Reddit. All right. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Thanks. I should have wore my hat. <laughs> no, oh, I like it. I, like I need you. to, I like I need to get a hat. cut. That's why I'm wearing a hat. Yeah, get a faux Didn't hawk, you? man. You only live one. I'm going to do the Red Hood faux hawk, Laura. Check it out. I got enough hair right. to do it. Yeah. Wait, this is the Nakayama. Yeah, That's there oh, you there pull it you off. Go. There you go, man. We got David Nakayama in the house, <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait, that's not. That's like. Hey, that's not idea. me. Close enough. <laughs> close enough. Uh, guys, again, just I saw a nice little spike there in views. If you haven't already, please like the show and make sure that you are following Bird City Comics on Instagram and at Red Hood Comic. Not no S on Instagram as well. <laughs> and of course, Lucy at Mama Comics. She does whatnot sales, and mm -hmm. your your Instagram's just fun. I like following you. Hey, did you get that? I don't have any impulse or anything. Did, did you get that pick, Laura, of Trisha's book? I sent. Where it did you send Anthony, it? To me? Anthony, Anthony, I sent it on uh, on our messenger, the near Nirvana oh, chat. You. It's there. Oh, good. So we can put that up here in a second. So I, got, I gotta have this book, Trish. Tell me <laughs> what, who I gotta kill. This has to happen. <laughs> No, I'm telling you guys, just wait a, wait a little bit. Once she's done with all those dog days. Oh, here we go. So ready for you. Oh, look, James just said it's still available uh, as a buy two, get one free on all Nakayamas uh, from the retailers. So that's not oh, nice. Thing. That is just, what? man, this is it looks fish. like my, my, my Dalmatian, man. I had to Aww. put down my Dalmatian. Aww. I had two Dalmatians. One was 12 and 13. I had to put them both down. Oh, Ugh. sorry. So now I got a little I'm Yorkie. Oh. Do you know what? I, I don't know what it is. is. Is it like the the dogs month or something going on? Because like every other commercial is like rescue a dog. Like Laura, we're about to have a pack around here. Like I get the impulse to drive to a shelter and like give oh. me three. Like, oh no! <laughs> That's Ugh. a thing, man. We've uh, we've always uh, done uh, done rescue dogs and like I had a Siberian Husky and then two Dalmatians. So. Like they lived a long, good life, you know, like, you know, what vets say is that these animals are living long past uh, their life expectancy. So these veterinarians just don't know how to treat these animals, you know, because of all the steroids and the food and everything. You got a 15 year old dog that's only supposed to live to about eight or nine. And they're all like, Whoa. you know, and they're okay, all if like, you don't mind me asking, though, were your Dalmatians like I feel like Dalmatians have a bad rap. Like they're everybody's like, oh, Dalmatians like are so people. mean. Yeah. So I no the Dalma Dalmatians are great. Like uh, I I had one. She was deaf, and my God, she barked more than my other dog that could hear. So I don't know what the hell she was barking at. She was woof, woof. You know, like, but uh, she was really smart. Like uh, and like she was very friendly and everything. I don't. I I guess it's how you raise them or like. I think it's that's just true. For your kids. If your kids are assholes, you didn't raise them right. All right, Joe, we got to talk after this. She still has that, so we'll figure it out. Okay, yeah. good. PayPal. Yeah, I, I've heard Dalmatians are mean. I don't know where I heard that from, but it's been like... Yes, I, I, I have heard that, too. Chihuahuas uh, are mean. Friend, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, a friend, they had a Dalmatian, and every time we'll go over, they had to put them all away because it was not that, it, that uh, she was mean, that she was very protective. No, and, and they're very super, protective. One, one thing about Dalmatians, they're really hyper. So, like, yeah. if you're not into a hyper dog and if you're not into walking your dog and taking them out for walks, that's not the dog for you. Like, <laughs> Look what Steve put. Corella is the mean one. <laughs> that's <laughs> funny. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. We went from talking about knocking my tooth <laughs> to. Puppies. Derailed. That's what comic book women is. This show's all over the place. Nah, all man. right, so you know, I think okay, is, is Red is Red Hood a, an official comic book woman now? He's been on a few times. He's starting to be. Yeah. We used to have Mel on all the time, so hey, no, Joe's kind of so busy now. Yeah. All right. So uh, Inferno issue one, David Nakayama Virgin variant, guys. If you want the Virgin, you're looking at about thirty bucks. You can still pick up the trade for about fifteen. But Not bad. This is a go to his cover. website. Yeah, uh, James said go to his website and they're still available on his website. So before you go to eBay or Midtown, anywhere else, check the, the artist's website. Oh, Nakayama. Didn't Nakayama? No, I'm thinking I'm in town. Never mind. All right, let's keep going. Next up, I included this one yes. because I thought it was just 
freaking stunning, first of all, but also because I could not find this for the love of God. If no, you guys can find yes. it on eBay, let me know. But no. I, it is a ghost, it's a man. Ghost. Because it's one out of 25, you, right? Isn't yeah, you it? can't you can't find it. Like I couldn't even find it in the solds. But anyway, this is uh, Age of X Man Apocalypse and the X Tracks. Mm -hmm. So this book is about the brand new uh, mutant. This is un Unveil, and she's like a psychedelic living rainbow. And I think his interpretation of this is phenomenal. Uh, this this so. book, uh, uh, my my uh, custom slab, Chris. He was looking for this one, and uh, Mel had to help him to be able to find this book because it, it was he couldn't find it anywhere. And somebody, I think, uh, he was able to buy it from somebody else because, uh, like you said, it, it's a ghost. And I think it's a ghost. because it's a, it, it's it's a one out of twenty five. It's a racial one, right? Yeah, the people that have these, they're not giving them up. And, yeah, no. and that just shows you the range Nakayama has. He can do anything, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, so like when you see something like this, th that's him just playing around, you know, it's like, like, what do you want me to do? I'll do this. No big deal. You know? Yeah. Y you know what I like? And this is definitely a skill is that I always look at people's hair, hands and hair. When, when I look at artists and, and you know, to, to do justice to like an Afro style, do you guys remember the, the Black Panther cover he did with Sh Shiri on the front? Ooh, yes. Dude, the, it, it, the back curve and the whole picture is great, but it just drew me to the hair. He did the hair so well. And this is the same thing. It gets that same vibe. Man, I wish I wish I could get a hold of it. Because again, as I was developing the slides tonight, I wanted to, I wanted to kind of show like a full range of what he can do, like what Joe was saying, like how he's not just this one dimensional artist. He's constantly evolving and growing and getting better and better and better and outdoing himself even. But with this one, I'm like, oh, I love this. I'm gonna I'm gonna go buy it. You can't you can't find it. It's not out there. Although Black Key Comics has a nine point six signed of this. Ugh. Okay, I'm jealous. Damn. Um, yeah, Trish, that's true. That's uh, Anthony, that's Trish's thing too. She always look, and now because of her, like I always look at the hairs too. The hair, the hairs, the hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, Trish, Trish taught us that a while back that she's always focused because she did ponies. So she, she's used to like the swirls that form the hair and everything. And yeah, that's definitely her thing. Even the foot is good. Oh, yeah, the foot is good. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and again, the pose, like, it's just so, se it's sexy, like, yeah. Well, it's it's supposed to be psychedelic. She's supposed to be like this living rainbow. And I, I think the way that he kind of creates that, that movement that she's kind of flowing through the air, almost to like her internal soundtrack. Like, don't you just hear her like listening to Bob Marley or something as she's flowing around? Yeah. So it. No, I was going to say it's one of those covers that looks very expensive, right? And if it looks expensive, it is expensive, right? Mm -hmm. And that's always been one of my things when, when I'm looking at books. Like even before, like I'll, I'll pull up eBay or, or cover price or, or, or something just to get a price on it. Like if it looks like it's expensive, like... I mean, that's how you should, when you're digging for books, I mean, just the covers will tell you, hey, like, I'm something. You better buy me. I'm, I'm worth something. Okay, I have a question for you and Aunt. then. Just hypothetically, since you can't find this anywhere, if I wanted to post one on eBay, what do I start the, the price at? Do I just do get to decide? Because this one, forty four ninety nine, mm -hmm. was older than six months ago. So mm -hmm. that's... So, like, if there's none on eBay, can I just stick it on there and say what I want? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so if you have it and nobody else has it, you pretty much command your own price. And if you have it graded, then you really uh, command your own price. Uh, this, um, I mean, just like I want it. You want right. it. I'm sure Lucy would want this. I mean, it's a ghost. If, if, if that guy who has it in a 9.6... He could probably list it at about 500 bucks and probably get it in about five minutes. Yep. Like, I was about to it, say. That's one of those books that is just like. Yeah, this is one you set the market on because you're the one that's got it. If you say it's $500, the book costs $500.
Hmm. Is that's why, Ted, that's why is Ted K like we... picking on me? Oh, Damn, probably. dude. I came all the way to comic book <laughs> women. And he still finds me, man. Damn, <laughs> dude. That dude's always picking on me. That's a good thing. If he's picking on you, it means he likes you. That's like that's our language. He's he's mm -hmm. one of our old school peeps. He was with he Bird City back me. at the beginning. He's messaging me about our Vampirella cover. Our Draculina uh, cover, you mean? Our our Drac Draculina. Yeah, he says she's a contortionist or something like that with that pose. Ooh, she kind of is. I mean, that makes sense for that though. Just, I set the price. I don't follow the price. The 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 colors on her leg, man. It's just like it's a, that is so cool. I it mean, looks like it, ink, right? Right. Yeah, it just looks badass. Mm. If anybody out there wants to sell me one for forty four ninety nine raw, I'm in. So God, no, yes. that's a cover that the art print would sell for about sixty seventy bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how good that cover is. When when you can see the art print selling uh, selling for a lot of money then you know you've got a great cover you know all right hear me out i love i love nakiyama i love him i think this cover is fantastic do you think it would have been stronger if it was just her by herself yeah without the, mm -hmm. without the people mm -hmm. yeah. oh yeah without the people in the back yes take yeah. them out of it and just let it be her i think it would have made this even better you even know, I was, better i was looking at that though and it kind of balances it like for sure, it'll look good without it, but right. that space down there, I, that's why I think he put stuff there, because mentally take it out. It's kind of an awkward corner. Yeah. No, I like it better with the mount. I'd rather Whatever. that be a blank corner. Whatever, then. Whatever, then. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Bird City, who's going to mm. win? All right, so forty four ninety nine raw, theoretically, if you guys can find this. For the love of God, if you spot this comic, do not pass it up. Buy it. This is a good one to have in your collection. You would be insane not to. As we were discussing earlier, there's none of these on eBay, so you literally could set your own market, which is... Oh, my God. I, 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 I wonder what Long Short would say about this book. I mean, this is, uh, you know, me and him kind of have the same taste in books and you know, chasing bubblegum covers and stuff like that. Like I guarantee long short is probably either has it Can or we show him now that he said it. Fuck. I don't know. Big show guys. 45 watches right now. You guys want to see All some right. shit? We're not only showing it now just because Joe said something that was not scripted. This was not planned. Damn it. Go ahead. Aunt. All right, hold on. Let me go find it. Cause I really I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. So this is a book that we have slated to come out and start advertising the week of the 17th, I believe. You're um, going to lose your shit, Joe. This is. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Yeah. Who's the artist? Is it Nakayama? Uh, no, nope, it's Ricardo my, Drummond, which is one, one of, of Anthony's favorites. Yeah. Go ahead. So he did the, see behind you on Anthony's desk, the department of truth that we had the, uh, what do you call them? Sugar skull variants mm -hmm, in the background. Mm -hmm. He did those. I bought, I bought the OA or Laura bought me the OAs for Christmas. Yeah. Oh. He's, he's just That's one of those funny. artists that I just think is going to be huge. But anyway, we commissioned him to do our department of truth. Number 16. We actually okay. have two coming up, but since you mentioned it, this is the one and only department of truth, bubblegum variant. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll zoom back out, but there's your bubble gum. <laughs> there has not been one. Image is no longer doing exclusives for any of these books past the number one anyway. So this is literally the only Department of Truth bubblegum variant out there. And we are going to be launching it when, Ant? The, the week of the 17th. And I haven't put teasers out. Like you guys are seeing a full image and I got a whole process. So I'm going to put this. Nobody on. has seen this. Nobody. That was it. Okay. We're taking it down. What do you think? <laughs> you just, you're fine, Joe. <laughs> he's he's speechless. Dude, <laughs> that looks so cool, man. Well, I wanted her in an interrogation room. Oh my god! Interrogation dude, room. But she's, blow, book, she's blowing. She's blowing a bubble. Like, go fuck yourself. What do you? Oh, sorry. Joe, she's blowing you, a bubble. You know, like, you know we got care. you. God. We got you, Doug. Dude, but I gotta yeah. have that book. <laughs> Laura was like. They keep talking about these bubblegum variants, bubblegum variants. I'm like, yeah, I know a bubblegum variant. Dude, gum they're a thing. Like, like, you know, like hunting them down. I found one like long short. Like he, uh, I go, do you have this one, bro? And he goes, no, I don't. And, and limit him to said, fifty. Yeah, he goes. I, I go, it's yours. He goes, like, dude, let me pay. I go, nah, man, I got two of them, man. It's it's all good. I don't care. 
Nobody has seen that though, guys. Like legit, nobody has seen that. We weren't even going to show even teaser images till next week, but you said oh, something. Shit. and Dude, we jumped the gun by two weeks. I'm looking at my schedule now. We're not even set to like release teasers on that one until the week of the 21st. So forget you saw that. Let's keep going. There goes my marketing. <laughs> <laughs> hey make sure you guys anybody out there watching if you're into bubblegum variants make sure you are following us on instagram and subscribe to the the text line that we have on our site so you get notifications whenever we drop something um yes. all right next up laura uh paul said that he found a trade dress for that book uh for 90 bucks where where uh, probably no, just pm me on the side i got it yeah uh paul message anthony I want it. I want it badly. All right. Uh, and this is bad timing because this was your pick. I let you have a pick tonight. So, yeah. Um, so it, this is the uh, the PS4 uh, Spider-Man David Nakayama variant. Uh, when the game came out. So I'm an Xbox guy. So there's a little backstory. I, I don't own a PlayStation. And I was this close to buying a PlayStation just to play the PS4 Spider-Man game. Like. I would have went and spent 500 bucks and another 60 for the game specifically for this game. And I didn't, I held off, but then these covers came out and I bought a bunch of them. Cause I just, I loved it. I loved the background. I love the cityscape. You guys know me like that's why I asked red hood about the Spider-Man connection. Like we identify with the things um, I'm a, I'm a urban city type of kid. And so I, you know, bird city comics, I like the cityscape. I like the negative red background. Um, I don't know. I just dug this cover. So Laura's the like, pick suit? the cover. The suit, yeah, it's the PS4 yeah. Spider-Man suit. He's got the white emblem on the front. So there was nothing not to like about this. I had to, I had to grab this as, as one of my faves. Mm -hmm. Okay, solid pick. Good luck Joe, finding a PS5, somebody just said, Laura. Uh, we yeah. have one. He got yeah, one for I got one. <laughs> he, he so got we, we're playing Miles sure. Morales right now. Oh, man, yeah. that's an intense cover, man. You know, I mean, that color red is just intense to begin with, man. But, like... <sighs> I mean, just the city in the background, man. I mean, that just looks so freaking cool. The white birds. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. I'm typing to Big Remo. You guys continue. Lucy, what do you uh, Oh, no, no. Everything that just, Anthony just said, it, it's just such a beautiful cover. Um, I love, yeah, the red and the, the city in the back. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yep. Hey, tell Sam those are some nice PJs. <laughs> my mom got it for him. <laughs> Sam, Anthony said that those are nice PJs. He's killing those. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Anthony said that those are nice PJs. For sure. All right, Paul's. No, Look, at him. Off. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> so it's model, looking model good, Sam. I love looking it. good. <laughs> he said, looking good. <laughs> looking nice. <laughs> Uh, Paul spoke too soon. They sold out. But Big Remo, hey. please message Ant. I will. I will definitely. Um, so yeah, Ant, do you want to explain real quick why we're why we're Bird City? People <laughs> never put it together. Okay, so if you just if you go to Urban Dictionary and type in the word Phoenix, and it comes up Bird City is an acronym in the Urban Dictionary for Phoenix. And we were trying to come up with a name for the longest time, and Laura was just yeah. digging around, so she ended up finding that, and then. Um, God, I hate saying it, but we're known for like pigeons too. We got a lot of them. So <laughs> I was like, mm, let's let's skip that part. But yeah, Bird City. We got a lot of birds. Uh and we have and the Cardinals really football good. team. That makes sense. Yeah, right? Arizona Cardinals. So we got some, even though they came from Chicago and then St. Louis, but uh I don't know. Pe people like our name, they like our logo. It's different. I dig it. Spider Girl, thank you so much for that. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank uh you okay, so dance. We do a little Spider dance, girl. boys, whenever we get a... <laughs> is it, wait, what kind of dance is it? I feel like I'm the... dance somebody... that's, that's our little dance. I, are we shaking it for money now? Because I'll, I'll twerk for some dollars. Oh, um, hey, wait, excuse me. We don't, Mexicans don't twerk, okay? We hula hoop. Fine. We hula hoop. <laughs> wait, it's it sold again? I'll Damn put it. my hat on the ground and dance around it. We, that, you know the, the washing machine. The, the, the washing machine. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. We, we, we don't twerk. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Look at Chad. Shout, shout out, out Selena. <laughs> Pitching comics has such a nice ring to it. <laughs> anyway. You know, me and Selena's brother were real good friends for a very long time. I we lost touch. I yeah. No way. Oh yeah. Ooh, I used to love his music. Uh, Quintanillas, isn't he? Uh, was he a? Uh, 
Uh, Los Tigres. No, that's not him. No, he had the Cumbia control. Kings. The Cumbia, Cumbia Kings. Yeah. You know, my 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 wine steward uh, was a star witness at uh, Yolanda's uh, no trial. Way. Oh yeah, uh, oh, he he worked at the Days Inn when Selena got shot, and <gasps> no, yeah, oh. he was holding her when when uh, yeah. Oh my God. I can't story, handle yeah. that. Like that makes me like I that movie yeah. makes me so upset. Let, just, let me tell you, he could have made like. You know, shout out Ruben, and this is my homeboy, you know, but uh, he could have made so much money like doing a tell all book and everything yeah. like that. But he says he still has nightmares. Oh, you know, I, so. I, I, you know, I cannot watch that movie like I can, like it hurts too much to watch it. I, I, I love Selene <laughs> and I, I just cannot watch that movie. But yeah. You know, hearing these stories though, like seriously, makes me nervous for myself because I'm a superstar, and all oh, I need is somebody to get me at a, at a yeah. yeah, I totally know where you're coming from. <laughs> Thank you. You, <laughs> me. you know, watch your back, dude. Like, and don't me walk have, around, uh, chitty, chitty, bum, bum. Oh, he stabbed me. At, okay. Don't, anyway, don't have any fat really Mexicans be uh, uh, in charge of your <laughs> fan club, bro. Like, don't stab me in the back, bro. Yeah, for real. I don't know, but I'll find them. I'll show you. <laughs> for Anthony's. They called me Anthony's. Lucy, what do we do with know. these guys? I'll find them. I'll show you. <laughs> this, this is what you get for inviting me a redhead. I know. I should not have you guys on at the same time. Sorry. All right. 1444 for the raw comic on this one. It's a good one. This is the uh, PS4. It's a good one. Whatever. All right, let's keep going. We're we're so off track here. Living Trish is like, oh gosh, yeah. Sorry, Trish. Sorry. <laughs> to the books. Um, yeah. So we kind of like do commercials too. Like, so mm -hmm. we did the book, and then we have a little commercial, and now we're back to the books. <laughs> yeah, back to the books. Yeah. <laughs> so again, I told you guys at the beginning, I'm doing these a little bit different than how Jen does them because I'm I'm an artist at heart, so I like to see the process behind his work. This That's one is so Captain cool. Marvel number one. This is a 2019 exclusive Virgin variant that he did. And I wanted to put this one up. Unfortunately, I couldn't find much information on cover price on this. So I pulled it off of the dreaded eBay. But it's going for about $50 or best offer. Now, if you look to the left of the screen, obviously, this is his concept art. I wanted you guys to see how he developed this idea. Apparently, it started with surfing. Like they wanted it to look like, uh, like Carol was kind of surfing Riding back into the, the atmosphere yeah but it, yeah. it eventually evolved to the sitting position that you see on number two if if anybody out there is an artist like i'm looking at how this this is trish. And if you're an artist like trish uh, laura even if you're not like a person that gets paid for art and you're an artist let me just say i love how your brains work mm. i love it i'm looking at this i would have never thought of this this is not who i am but I, I see where he's going from and all the things he pulls from and how your brains work are just so interesting it's crazy. E e Red Hood, you're an artist. You got paint around your house. Um, that, that's that's awesome. I, I don't get it, but I love it. You just, you know, all, all you need is an idea, you know, and, you know, you just toy with the idea and just keep, you know, working at it until it evolves into, into what you want. Like, it's like clay. You just keep yeah. molding and molding and molding and, until finally you get a sculpture that you want. Oh my gosh, Lucy, he's gonna be like, I'm Michelangelo, basically. No, not me. No, that, I'm, that, that's just my perspective. My hands are my power. No, 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 no. <sighs> I, I'm just saying, like, I can't my, shoot, pick, my pickup bro. line was, hey. <laughs> and eventually one of them said yes, and so I married her. Um, uh, <laughs> Double J's totally me, right. Man. This was inspired by Adam Hughes. Good eye. Uh, continue, guys. Oh, I was just I was just saying, I continue. my creativity level is about Oh, yeah. Yes, this big. So, um, I, no, I, don't know. I dig it. You got great. Uh, I shouldn't say this, but you have, I have good business ideas. acumen. That's different. <laughs> you have good ideas. <laughs> I don't know. We had a second kid. His name's Adam. I don't know how great of an idea that was. Well, you are putty in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Does he put on like the ghost music? He's like making pottery. Threaded. <laughs> oh man, I forgot about that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh he's cleaning his cover. Dude, I that's don't funny, clay, man. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, that's the actual creative process. Yeah, and it's it's interesting. I feel like when you can mm -hmm. kind of pull these on and see them next to the finished product, you really do get to kind of dive into where their mind went and how they 
uh, we're not at it yet, but we're going to get to another point that kind of illustrates this. It needs to put that apocalypse book on an episode of Ghost Books. Oof. You can't find it? Somebody, yeah, somebody had it earlier in the show, but it sold out within like two seconds. We should have went hey, shopping, Joe, idea. before the show. I, I got a little bit of pull now, just a touch. If anybody has one of these, has access to one, uh, knows mm -hmm. who has one, mm -hmm. sell it to me. And I'm not bullshitting. Let me know your price. Hit me up, sell it to me. And any comic that I come out with an exclusive, even if it's a sellout, I will make sure you get one. Just, yeah. just Damn. Anything. anything. I don't even care. Any, if you any, hit me up any, and say, hey, I need that sold out people. from the truth 14 <laughs> corn variant that we're sold out on, I'll break into my vault to give you one. And I'll buy what? the other book. You won't even break into the vault from well, I guess this is nobody of gets into the vault. They're they're supposed to be set, but I will. You find me one of those books, I will not only buy it, but I will give you something that you can't get anymore from us. All right. Well, there you heard it, guys. That's a pretty solid offer. So um, yeah, all, people, in, yeah. <laughs> all in all, this is his Captain this Captain Marvel cover. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I'm a fan of hers. I know that this character kind of gets a little bit of hate, but I, I think that. I think she's really cool. And I actually cosplayed as her multiple times on this show on Comic Book Women. I dress up as, uh, as Captain Marvel because I kind of just think, like what Anthony was saying, I kind of identify with her. Uh, Lucy, what do you think of this cover, all in all? Well, you guys said it all. <laughs> we said everything. We said everything. Yeah, you guys said everything. I have nothing to say. No, it's a freaking awesome cover. And I, I could see, like, the whole, you know... Uh, like surfing through the the the, the galaxy or what the the space. I can hey, Lucy, you still got your Christmas tree up? Hey, it, hello. so do I. It That's doesn't total come down Mexican after, right there, bro. It doesn't come down after <laughs> after January sixth. Los tres Reyes Magos, okay? Oh, está bueno, está bueno, orale. Okay. Then. Now yeah, you know. <laughs> no comprendo what you guys are talking about. I have mine up too, though. I just think it. You know the, like, because yeah. uh, January 6th is the white, the three white main days. And like, well, growing up, like, I don't You're really right. celebrate that as much. But uh, right. when we were little, like, uh, they still, they, they wouldn't bring us toys, but they will bring us a little something because, you know, like, uh, Days cookies. after Jesus was born, yeah, cookies. It was Your cookies. Panda <laughs> yeah, like uh, it was always cookies. Like what they'll bring us our favorite cookies. Uh, after Jesus was born, like two weeks later, the three wise men they showed up and they bring you know presents too for Jesus. So uh, that's uh, well, all right then. Uh, there you go, um, Anthony. I'm glad you hopped back on. People are now hunting because of what you said. But here <laughs> is now. I, I am not guys. being biased. Before I put this up, I'm not being biased. This is legit one of my favorites, if not my favorite, Nakayama book because I got to work personally with him in the development of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not biased. Boom. But so this was his <laughs> first Department cover. of Truth cover that he did. Uh, for and like when we were working with him, he was he kind of gave us some concept art too. And I was like, you know, I think we got to keep it. We got to keep it red. Let's keep it that red. But he added in like the black detailing and went for that Audrey Hepburn. A anyways, this one, I, I personally love this cover. And again, I am a little bit biased because it was the first time Anthony let me have the reins, but um, Joe, what do you think? It's breathtaking. Really? Yeah. Then he said it's Boeing. What Penny? Penny, Penny, say hi. Say, what's up? <laughs> Our pug thinks it's Boeing. Okay. She just like pushed open the door oh, all what aggressive. A great dog. The wall. She jumped that. into my lap. I'm like, uh, dog, okay, man. get you one up. Look at that's that's Anthony's other girlfriend. <laughs> say what's up, <laughs> Penny. <laughs> Every what's time up? I see her, she reminds me Where's of my dog? in black. Uh, <laughs> in black. Showing dogs. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, oh. though, guys, thank you for the ones of yeah, those of you who liked this one. It did sell out initially, but yeah, Anthony yeah. like, oh, she does that sometimes. <laughs> she gets overstimulated, Joe, and that's like how we she call, we call that buffering. Buffering. Dude, Anthony. that's awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> She's hey. buffering. Um, hold on, oh, a dogs, I'm so behind. Man. I, I'm a dog. I'm a lot, she's a lost cause right now. Sorry, what were you gonna say? Uh, this did sell out initially, but didn't you hold back like a ton for damages? 
Yeah, so if you guys haven't bought from us before or know me, I hold back a ton for damages just because you never know. Um, I want definitely mint copies going out, but once I count up all the damages, whatever's left goes right back in stock, and I don't mark them up, um, even if they're doing better. Claim. Claim, claim <laughs> one. Oh, wait, hold on, Red Hood. Are you on a Discord? Nuh uh. Okay, if you make a Discord account, side business now, um, I got a whole chat room going around for creators. You just got to start working on my stuff and chat, and you get copies sent to you, man. I got a copy. You're a what person. What does that mean? Wait, what? Really? Oh like, if you God. have any damages, let me know, man. I'll oh, press you get, them out. You get, min you get minty fresh ones. No, but I'm saying if you have any books that, that uh, like, are damaged or... or I got, uh, like, 20 copies that, that got some dings and nicks on them that I set aside. Send them to me. I'll fix them for you, man. You can fix those? Uh, mm -hmm. What do you, Lucy, what do you think of this one? Oh, it's freaking gorgeous. I love this one. As soon as you guys posted this one, I love this cover. It's beautiful. And it I'm is. not like so like I've been kind of like Department of Truth like I'm over it you guys you know that I always telling you, but this one yeah. was just just gorgeous. It's I don't beautiful. know, but she looks like she has a secret. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Something about yeah. it, like it's like and tell she's me the not telling me. I want to know. <laughs> like she's not telling her secret. But like, yeah, no, this one's super sexy. I love it. I love I love yeah. this cover. I just, I uh, you know, for me, I would have a tough time seeing out of those sunglasses with the X's on them. <laughs> <laughs> like, it would just be hard for me. I don't know about you guys. I like it. Yeah. I you know, what, you know I think uh, Lucy sounds interested here, too. Uh, if anybody out there is a, a comic content creator, feel free to reach out to me. I, I want to circulate books in the community. I want to give out comps to content creators. Uh, Lucy, holla at me tomorrow. So when you can get yeah. your IG and your whatnots going, just yeah. we'll, we'll talk it all out and get you guys some books so you can give yeah. them and keep them and whatevs. Yeah. yeah, it's it's definitely a, a thing that we're we're wanting to develop in 2022 is that networking, getting across the community because some people didn't even know this existed, and mm -hmm. we want to get these books into the fans' hands. Yeah. We want you know we'll be that... sharing you guys because <laughs> what as soon as I see something that you guys, not because I know you like uh, you know, and I'm like I buy like you said bias, you know, but it's just because I I love the covers you guys post, and you know how. I'm peaky, like when it comes to exclusive, Good. Uh, uh, you know, be. like, uh, and, and when I see something that I really like, I, I love to share it, you know, like, uh, I want people to see it and be like, you have to buy it. I tell people, you have to buy this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that that's what we're talking about. That kind of support is priceless to us. But okay, just to go back to this though, art wise, taking Burn City out of it, Joe, like what you were mentioning, or wait, I think it was Anthony earlier with um, the blue. This one, I feel like the red is perfect. Mm. It's perfect. If it, if it was a little bit darker, it's like that bright. Something about this red makes the color of her skin just feel more real to me, I guess. And I, when I remember when he when he sent this to us, I walked into Anthony's office and I was like, "You you gotta see this. You're gonna lose your shit." And we held it up, and he was like, "Oh my gosh, this is." You it, know. He's, if if, if I saw a lady walking into a room and she was dressed like that, I would say, man, that's somebody, you know, that's somebody famous. Mm -hmm. Like yes. she, she loves... she's somebody, you know, yeah. that that's how good this art looks. I mean, it just, man, <laughs> it, it looks expensive, right? <laughs> it I mean, looks expensive. That's my thing. Like I look at a book that that's why like, I, I have a lot of good books because when I go digging, like if it looks like it's supposed to be expensive, oh. like I'll pick it up. I don't pick up junk, you know? Yeah. And then I'll look at the artist and I go, well, that, there you go. That makes sense. But mm -hmm. Nakayama, that, I mean, that's the range this guy has, you know, uh, Laura, you've shown like five, six books and, you know, it's a little bit different, a little bit different, you know, and then just like, bam, you uh -huh. know, like, this yeah. is what I can do. Like he can draw the comic bookie or he can draw like something ultra real, realistic like this. I mean, oh, she's yeah. stunning. I mean, look at that hourglass. Right. Anyway, I mean, Jesus Christ. Right? The, the red glove I thought were a nice touch. The oh, long yeah. gloves up to like almost the shoulder past the bicep. Yeah, it's good yeah, stuff. So, is this still on the site, Ant, or are we sold out of this one? 
I believe we do still have some. Joe, I want two of them. How much are they? I'll buy them right <laughs> now. Just promote it and I'll send you some, bro. Okay, I'll put it on my. I'll, I'll make a TikTok of it. Everybody in the chat's like, I just promoted it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do. I want, I want, yeah, I want all these people that have these yeah. social presences. Just, just hit me up. And we'll work something out. You, when did this? When did you guys put this one out? Gosh, um, this is for like issue a couple 14. months. Huh? Uh, it yeah, 14. so it was, it was a month before last. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We were, Bro, yeah you still have some left over? Are you serious, dude? Because well, we sold out initially because we were so concerned about damages. When you have like these solid backgrounds. Well, shit, I'll take 10. I've got tw- 10. I've got 28 of them left in stock is what my inventory is showing me. Oh, and this is one of the oh, first God. ones that they, he was, people were so excited because we had, we stated our print run. It was 600. Yeah. yeah these sorry. are li- yeah. limited. To 600. Okay, I'll take 10 copies right now. Just and I think I only had 15 up. damages of the whole. Okay. I got you, brother. <laughs> Red Hood shopping too now. Guys, if you are just uh hopping on in, yeah, these well, okay. they were sold out initially, but again, it's just with Anthony, the way he takes his damages, like he, he we don't like having to message people like, oh, we didn't have enough to fulfill orders. So he's really good about that. Um, if you're just joining in though, guys, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. We are joined by Bird City Comics, Anthony, and Joe at Red Hood Comics. Nah, I, I don't want to put you guys on the spot. I, I mean, I'll just take one or two, like because <laughs> like people are watching and they're already wanting like out that time. Yeah, you're not. The minute I wanted people were like, now fuck Red Hood. I, I, I want all of them. <laughs> well, my apocalypse book is gone now. It's like, damn it. Also, yeah, you guys. That's another thing. It's a good point he's yeah. bringing up. They're not going to be placing damages anytime soon, so you might want to get used to the idea of your books might have a little bit more spine ticks than usual, and that's not just from us. Like in mm-hmm. general, image is not doing gonna go because right? it. it Every time I get like a, a a run of books that are damaged, and it's the entire run, they're not printing. It. We report to CGC just in case they're going to grade them. But like some of these have like a chipping down the spine, and it's from the fold on the ink not curing properly, so it creates a chip, mm-hmm. and it's white see through. And so you report them, and I'm wondering if CGC at some point is going to be like it's still damage. Because I mean, mm-hmm. you can report it all you want, doesn't mean they're going to accept it. So that's a whole nother show. I was thinking whole about that. Show. <laughs> Hey, don't even get me started on, on CGC, man. Yeah, yeah that, that, I think that would be like a nearing Nirvana show, guys. We'll have to, we'll we'll do, that. That we'll have to do that, yeah. Come on Friday. All right, next up. So this one, there's no information right now just because this book is so new, but you can find it on our site still, and I would recommend going mm-hmm. there first so you don't overpay on eBay um, and see if you can snag mm-hmm. one up if you haven't already. Again, I'm not being biased, but I think this is one of his best covers. I think he killed it on this. And he said he had so much fun that he this is a character he had been wanting to do for a while. It's shocking to me that he hadn't already just tackled this. So anyway, all right, moving on. Next up. So this, again, I included some of his concept work just because I think it's freaking cool. Cover price, again, didn't have any information, but I did find some on eBay. This is his first ever Red Sonia. What do you guys oh, think? That's his first Red Sonia? Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> People are joining my Discord chat right now. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> send me, send uh, me the invite. I need to. I got you, broski. Yeah, send me an invite too, man. Yeah. Okay. I will shoot you yeah. guys a link. Yeah. Uh, what? A, what's the, going on this here? is beautiful. I love the red again. Like the color. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see the detail. I don't know about y'all, but I think she killed somebody, dude. Right? (laughs) Right? You ever think she's, like, cold or, like, I don't know. (laughs) She doesn't look, like, super protected. Like, that chainmail bikini. I always think of this. Like, I look at the character and I get it. They designed her specifically to be super hot. And and it's not supposed to have functionality to it. But at some point, you figure she'll catch one in the gut, right? No, she's this is how we all go into battle, Anthony. All women dress no, like this when they go she, to battle. She's walking like, <laughs> I got the She job. runs hot. You know, she's <laughs> red, Sonia. She, so she's running hot all the time. So she okay. can wear, you know, because then she'll sweat. And then she's Nobody wants to sweat in Sonia. And then she's wearing makeup. So the makeup, you know, with the sweat, it will go in your eyes. And then you can see. So. Uh-huh. You know, I'm, she needs to hit up a Veda and get that waterproof. Makeup. <laughs> Nobody wants a sweaty Sonia. <laughs> so you're encouraging him. You were just encouraging. It's funny because he's got boots and jousting gloves on, but like 
Where's dude, the rest of your feet stink, dude? You know? <laughs> oh, sweaty feet. You know what? I'm, I'm just, let's just say this. If, if the apocalypse ever happens and we survive, Laura, this is going to be my getup. It seems to work for her. No! I will wear a chainmail bikini for post-apocalyptic battle. I will run back into the battle if you're wearing this after we survive some type Dude, of apocalypse. that's why she's no. wearing the bikini, because the boots took so long to put on, bro. Right? She's just like, like, fuck it. I'm just putting this on. I don't care. You know? <laughs> the boots probably took about an hour and a half to put on. For real. <laughs> And somebody, come on, robots. babe, we gotta come on. The movie starts at seven. Oh fuck it, I'm putting on this bikini. <laughs> Mama Thomas, you found me already. Yeah, uh, Aaron, send me. Aaron, the send out the movie. invites. Okay, send one yeah. to send one to Hoodski too, Aaron. While you're okay. while you're at it, I was wondering what she was doing down there. So yeah, there is an all black and white version of this. I believe it's a one in ten, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that one goes for a little bit less. I threw this one up because I think the coloring is really cool. It gets that same. It kind of has that um. Something is killing the children effect to me where you add oh, the red. And, yes. You know what I mean? But I was Wasn't looking at the dynamite, concepts the main, art. Oh, go, ahead. Oh, the, go ahead. The main colors are really going to be the focal point. I don't know if you know this, Laura, but dynamite are ratio whores. There's a million freaking ratios <laughs> for every single book. Like they do. It's like, here's red Sonia number seven. And there's like 15 ratios. It's not that they're really? bad, but. Yeah, yeah. I, it's it's kind of crazy that they set the market up that their main covers retain more value, which is kind of cool. But yeah, well, like when I when we did our cover uh, for for Draco, I didn't show it yet. But for something else that's coming up, there's like ten ratios, fifteen ratios. I didn't order them all. Hmm. Uh, no, I did not know yeah. that. Very there, cool. There uh, but what I was saying here is, when I was looking at the concept art, don't you think that number two would have been like really good? Yeah, but like I, if but she's you, sitting on a throne or something like or that. Or steps, yeah. and there's just blood all around her. But yeah. then I feel like it that has been done before. That and and then if you notice, like he tries to do like different, like what I noticed is like with his poses and stuff like that, he tries to be different. Um, so I don't know. Like I mean, obviously, probably this has been there done too, but it's a little bit different. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. All these everybody in the chat's agreeing with you. I didn't know that actually. Yet. I, I think I think it's the way her I hair know is. <laughs> if Trish is still out there, I, I like the hair. Uh, I don't know if Anthony, did we ship to Australia? Um, we used to when shipping to Australia was uh, open, but currently it's closed. I got a couple holds. Um, as soon as it opens back up, yeah, absolutely. Because of COVID type stuff. It's, uh, yeah, every time I go to ship a label for a couple of my Australian customers, it says shipping's not available currently, so mm -hmm. they're just on hold until it starts again. Apparently. Uh, USPS specifically. So, all right. So that was that one. Um, okay. This next one, I think you guys are going to like too. We only have a couple more here. I know we're kind of running a little over, but next up star Wars, Dr. Oh, yeah. Afron issue number one. Now. Okay. This says Neff box exclusive. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Is like, apparently it's exclusive that you can only buy in a certain type of box. Does anybody know what Neff box exclusive means? No idea. Man, I bet I let me hit up Phil and see if he knows what that is. Somebody in the chat. I mean, you, you're out there. You probably know too, right? Yeah, I bet you it's the like a retailer box. Like there's a couple of retailers that have a subscription box system. And when they do exclusives, they put them in their subscription boxes. You can't buy them separately. Now, oh, Crete set. Oh, in a UK it's, oh, it's a UK box. box. Uh, okay. There you go. Uh, Steve Street Horn, man. Wait, that guy. Hold on. That guy knows loot crate stuff. style nerd box. Yep. Yeah, I, I heard it was similar to loot crate. UK dealer. Okay, so there you go. So this one was apparently pretty hard to find. You're looking at three hundred and sixty dollars if you can get a hold of the raw comic. Wow. There you go. Yeah. But I, mean, I like this because it's different. It's it's different than in his other stuff. Usually, you know, he has like a, a pose, and it, it's different. It's a different one. Yeah. I like it. I like it too. I dig it. That's a, that's a badass cut. Now, Jesus Christ, now I got to have it. $360, <laughs> though, man. Like that, that's, that's why uh, I hate doing shows like this because I end up spending <laughs> money, you know? You and Anthony. You and Anthony. 
Yeah, Dude, I ordered insane. every cover from the Hawkeye show, Lucy. They're all sitting in Laura's office. She needs to give those away, oh by the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's true, huh? Like, there's some that you were doing. Yep. Another away. ghost book you said. Yeah. They only did Star Wars Yay. once. They stopped including comics a while back. Uh, so, yeah, this is this is another one that you have to, like really have to dig for it you have to really hunt it down see that that's what makes comics so cool like you know the card game has their their niches and stuff like that but like there's so many like you, you know you go off into into uh in on down rabbit holes and and things like that looking for like scarce books man like you just you're not gonna find that in another hobby man yeah. you know and it's like, have you seen this book? Holy shit, where did that come from? Like, it's, it, yes. I mean, it's almost like, you know, you get to see a lot of books for the first time when you, you show ghost books and things like yeah. that, man. It's just awesome. You see, that's and why he's I'm 100% happy. correct. Yeah, that's why I'm happy I'm broke, so I don't have to buy none of this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, you I know, that, I, want it. I can't, I can't get it. Just, there's some smarts to that. There really is. <laughs> No, that, that's good. That's good reasoning, Lucy. That's really good reasoning. Oh. The next day after the Hawkeye show, she's like, what did you spend $75 on comics for? And I'm like, I don't know. I just yeah, you got me going that, that, That's what it was saying, Laura. Like, th this cover is from uh, 2016, right? It looks campy, like kidsy. Mm -hmm. And and then you look at the, the cover that he did for the Department of Truth, and, and it's just like, it's, come. like yeah, it's, a, come. it's like a different artist. You yeah, know, I would. I would not like, have. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, as Nakayama. I don't even see the DNA well, stamp here. I would Do just ask that it? too. I don't really see his signature. No shit. Signature. No, that's what I was saying. It was. That's what I was saying. It's. It's different wow. than his other stuff. No, uh -oh, now he's really got to have it. Dude, yep. oh. like, it, where's his signature? You know, like I'm gonna keep pestering Nakayama. We gotta have him on the show because. You know, he would have been. Oh yeah, I drew that, but like I didn't put my my signature on it because I didn't feel like it. You know, <laughs> get him on the show and we'll do a part two. Because like I said, there's so many books that we're not covering tonight. There are so many out there that I wish I could have included. So if we could get him on, we'll just do a whole nother round and keep going. I'm sure he's a busy guy. Jesus Christ! No, no, what is he doing? What what, what are you doing, David? Right, he's probably anything. watching the show, laughing. He goes, Yeah. I <laughs> I didn't respond to Red Hood. Like he's probably pissed off at me. He's eating popcorn. He's watching the show. His original signature looked different on books too. I wonder what it looked like originally. I, I've only ever seen the DNA one, or at least that's what I think of when I think of Nakayama. So I don't. I can't remember. Uh, all right, let's keep going. So this one's three hundred and sixty bucks if you want to drop it. And next up, okay, I had to include this because. One of my, again, one of my favorites. You got the concept art. This is Wonder Woman. Can you guys guess where I'm going with this? The Wonder Woman go. go. Um, this was my pick for one of our books. I don't know what. I think it was, Lucy, it was a while back. Yeah. Uh, so you have his concept art over on the left, and then he did a full color. That's a hand-drawn sketch on the right. And then it ended up turning into... I'm gonna let you guys just look at this for a second before I move there's on. a signature on the bottom there. Mm. Oh hmm. but that's from the the where he's drawing it, right? It's not the it because it's not the actual comic book. Yeah, I wonder if that's what it looked like though before he went to the whole DNA thing. Right. But, but yeah, all right. So there's the colored version that he did by hand. There's a the concept art, and it turned into this beast of yeah. a book, which I freaking love i had to include it so wonder woman black and gold number six this is the one in 25 Nak nakayama variant you're looking these are all sold stats because i couldn't find it on cover price but all the sold stuff on ebay 200 bucks if you can find it for 150 like the person did over on december 28th i think that's a great buy it's just going up it seems like and it's a beautiful cover i'm, no, I'm um, gonna be like jen i'm gonna wait till this one goes down in a couple of years. <laughs> oh. if I can get. <laughs> I know that look. That's the look my wife gave me when I didn't do the dishes, like I told her I was going to do. And she, you know, she came at me with a fork. You know? <laughs> uh, he said in his own words, just to make this book even more appealing to you guys, if you don't already own it. I'm. Yeah, do we have this one by chance? 
Oh, you're muted, love. Know? 190 bucks jesus say. christ yeah four bits uh, only Laura, laura's being very kind to me right now she actually busted into my office and said did you order these I'm like, no <laughs> and she's like the hell's wrong with you and like stormed out yeah, yeah. I, was nice out, but I figure i'll give it to you <laughs> yeah well he yeah, said you. david okay. said himself that he believes this is the best piece he's ever done it's gorgeous oh, look nice. at that the, again like trish you know <laughs> The hair, like the hair mm -hmm. is just so, it, 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 it's just such a perfect Her look. golden lasso, it just looks like it, awesome, right? And the shield, yeah. like just everything. And her man. leg, look at that leg. That's a leg right there. Dude, <laughs> it looks like arm, a female leg though too. Her arms, yes. bro, she works out, man. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. That's they were just she just woman. came from the gym, bro. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Shoulder she ain't playing around. Do you I'm even lift, sorry, bro? But that's like Gal Gadot. Like, sorry, girl, you don't look like this. <laughs> look at this. This is Warner Woman. <laughs> yeah, like, you, somebody in here mentioned his first work. I was gonna put that at the very beginning, but I forgot. Was the Apprentice in Star Wars Tales set number seventeen as a penciler? And I think his first cover was something called Proximity Effect. If I'm not mistaken, I messaged him to see if that was true or not. But this series, I feel like, had so many good covers too. Like yeah. there have been some stunning pieces well, for this. You know, I don't I don't want to really point this out again, but yellow and black and gold all kind of really go together well. Okay, Bird City. <laughs> <laughs> just just saying, it just works. Yeah. Um that's that's what I'm saying. It. Like Nakayama is just getting better and better. Not your mama. Better. Yeah. He's just getting better and better and better. Like his work yeah. is just like Everybody's talking about him now. Like, that sucks. The almighty yeah. Lighter King pre-ordered oh, this for yeah. 50 bucks on eBay and the seller stiffed him on it. What's wow. the seller's name? Throw, throw him under the bus. So. Mm -hmm. Dude, there, there's the plenty bus. of good Facebook groups where you report sellers like that. That's not a real seller. Okay. It's not. Yeah. No. no, why would he? Yeah, he wouldn't do that. Could be cover of the year. Yeah, this... Oh, yeah. This this cover's stunning. Um, if anybody out there has it yeah. and it's in good condition, I would definitely get this bad boy graded. Laura, buy it. Uh, yeah. <sighs> 150 right now. Oh my gosh. I don't think you can find it for 150. So the last one was on January 4th and it's 228, but that's straight through. I'm guessing it was probably about 200 bucks plus $30 in shipping what, from the UK. What was the print run on this? Mm, I don't know. Yes, no? About 3000 I have no idea. Uh, Yi, if you're out there, look it up in the census. Let me know <laughs> what the stats are on this. <laughs> Come on, Yi. He's going to work behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, Yi's going to sure. be in Corpus this weekend, man. I'm going to try and get up there and see him. His band is playing. So shout out, uh, Aaron. Oh, that's nice. Uh, this is see my wife yeah, where is this? See, uh, Aaron play some loud hmm. music. Oh, that's it's like 80, Is it like an 80s cover band? <laughs> nah, man. They like. I think it's like speed metal or something. I don't know. What, what do you really? play, Aaron? I forgot what what you play. He plays bass. I know he plays bass, but I forgot oh. what his band plays. Country music, of course. <laughs> <laughs> He's like you asshole. Uh, anyway, oh uh, if you had two hundred bucks, Lucy, would you drop it on this? Two hundred yeah. comic book dollars to spare. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know if I would. If I had two hundred to spare, I think I would. Ugh. Man, I would want it graded though. You know, yeah, I don't know. Two hundred bucks. But well, see, I don't really like graded books. I don't. So uh, why? I, I told you I don't like the way they look. I'd rather have like a nice frame and, and be able to hang it. And I don't like that. I don't. I don't like that look on on the. I don't like it. Laura, I just bit on one. Don't be mad. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Anthony. Oh, oh it's a Now everybody else is going to go outbid you. This is what your show does to me, okay? I was working <laughs> on my own business and come on, can I make book women? And then I spent money. Sorry. Jeez. I was making tacos in the kitchen. Perfectly happy. Is that how I sound? Come what kind on, of tacos were you running. making, bro? <laughs> oh, bro. I got that ground beef in there. I was okay. sending it to its room. I was grounding it so hard. And uh, um, <laughs> just straight up, you're killing beef. Lucy. Do you, do you add sauce to it? 
You know it. So so you got that you got that cumin, you got that uh Mexican mm. oregano, you got all the chilies, like ground the beef up real nice, a little flour, a little mm. extra virgin olive oil to thicken it up, make it into like a little sauce. And then the kids usually kind of do all kinds of different stuff. Like Adam loves nachos, so he'll get chips, throw the meat on there, cover mm. it. Eliana likes tacos or, or tachos. She'll make some like tater tots and throw all, all the fixings on top Ooh, and melt them all together. Yeah. So everybody kind of does their own thing. Like Laura tonight, what are you having tonight, Laura? Oh, quesadillas. So Ooh, see, everybody does something different. We got quesadillas, we got nachos. I don't know. I'll probably have a little bit yeah. of everything. I was going to make tacos tonight. I've got the meat and everything, but I got yeah. so lazy and I ended up kind of going in and out because I kind of start craving it. So I was like, <laughs> I like oh, dude, tacos, pregnancy cravings are the tacos, best. Taco salsada. Yeah. Like the little oh. mini ones. We got a taco yeah. truck within walking distance of our house. Ooh, and nice. Monday through nice. Sunday or Saturday, Laura and I go no down. Way. You oh want to see? God, my mouth is watery. Shut up, oh, it's so good. Laura, tell, tell them what you are. Taco go trucks, go man, they bring tacos. it, dude. They got some badass chefs oh. in there, man. No, Joe, they do this one where it's called like a quesabria, where like Quesa, the outside. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Yes. It's like a cheese tortilla sort of like a oh, hold on no let, let me give it justice okay folks if you're listening in <laughs> a quesadilla is they get the flat top grill and they put down some monterey jack cheese maybe a little tocote mixed in then they take a shredded marinated beef put that on top and it creates like a crust because it's directly on the flat top then they fold it together and stick it into uh corn tortillas with all the fixings and then they give you a dipping sauce, the, a little a little bucket of sauce to to dip the tort. Oh, oh it's the, the, the consomme. The the consomme. Yes, consomme. Laura, yeah, you're talking dirty, right and this is a family show, man. I'm hungry. Oh man. Anyway, that, that's <laughs> the taco truck down the street. Laura and I walk down there uh, Wednesday through uh, what Saturday they're there, and we get tacos. Every day. I think I'm gonna order some food right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you guys! Pig, now you know? I want tacos. I hate you guys. I can't breathe. I want tacos. No, she's pregnant. You guys are mean to do that to a oh. pregnant lady. I got a stretch uh, mark from my first pregnancy, just so you guys know. So I feel it. <laughs> Anthony, do me a favor for uh, Joe's best friend Chad Cave here. Will you pull up Hellions number eighteen while yeah. I move on to the next one? Because that's his favorite, and I didn't include it tonight. Although I thought about it, there's just so many. So this one, guys, if you are just tuning in, is Wonder Woman Black and Gold number six. This is the one in twenty five Nakayama variant. It's stunning. Don't pass if you have the opportunity to get this. Um, all right. Last but not least, this is the one Joe was talking about at the very beginning. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. I, I don't even know. You know, Joe, why don't you take the lead on this one? I don't even know where to start with this. Wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. Her face. I mean, it's the hair, the face, everything. Like, I, right now, like what it gets me to her face, it looks like a picture. It does not look like, like if you were going to ask this girl out, like where do you start? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like you want to go grab a burger? Like, like, <laughs> dude, like you're just like, uh, 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 you do, you do the Wayne's World approach. You just drop to your knees and go, we're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> we like, suck. I, I, I like your, your, your cape. It's pretty badass. <laughs> Your like hair is cool. pretty. Yeah. <laughs> tights. Her tights are really nice. But uh, Avengers <laughs> Defender Tarot, this is number wow. one, David Nakayama variant. I believe this is a one in 50. Like when a woman dresses like that, they already know they look good. So like when you're telling them they look good, they're like, they don't want to hear it. They already know. She already knows. Right? So that's sure. where you, you go. So you tell her her defects. <laughs> like yeah, that, that that's where you go up to her and you go, I bet everybody doesn't think you're smart, but I think you're brilliant, you know? Yeah. Dang Joe! He out. got lines. Joe got lines. That was I'm gonna that get was in good. trouble. Whenever I get dressed trouble. and that we're like getting ready to go out to dinner, and Laura's like, You look handsome, I go, pues. <laughs> <laughs> she <ain't> telling me. <laughs> <laughs> no good too. I am the only one on this panel that doesn't speak Spanish, right? Yes. You don't speak Spanish? <laughs> no, I mean I, I don't either. I just know like all the bad words. And... <laughs> I just... Laura, Mexicans don't even speak Spanish anymore. Those are all just like sound effects we make. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. It's yeah. all head gestures and sounds. That's all. All right. I got the cover pulled up for Chad Cave. If you want to, that's a it great off. book to get graded, man. That is just oh. badass. It's a fantastic book to get graded. It's a raw I mean, comic it, at two fifty, though. It's, ooh, it's still steep, but it it, yeah. it looks like uh, what's her name, Elizabeth? What's um, Olsen? Olsen? Man, it looks like her. Like that would be a great book to get her to sign. No, I'm sorry, it, but she's it, prettier. <laughs> she is <laughs> <isn't> prettier. Sorry. <laughs> I, I agree. Kind of looks she's like it. There's a hint of Elizabeth Olsen there. I'm I'm with you. I'm with you on it. I see it. I'm trying, I, I don't. Lucy, just look her in the eyes and go. That's where you, you see got it, it in her eyes. And then look at look in the eyes upside down. <laughs> just and but you gotta say you got it, dude, and then you'll see it. I guess. No, I can't. I don't like, really see it. I would want to know who Nakayama's muse is, where he got the inspiration for this book. It had to be Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, right? Yeah, you, you, maybe, maybe from the movies he pulled it from or something? Because what was this? 2020? So yeah, the, she's, she was Scarlet Witch already. Can't find a good copy for under the under three hundred bucks. Oof. Yeah, you know, five hundred dollars CGC. Yeah, all day long. All you day foul, long. Lucy. <laughs> no, like I mean, she, you know, Elizabeth, she's beautiful. Like she's, but it's just like two beautiful women that I don't really see it together. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, roll me a haircut. Yeah. Ah. Huh? Your boy needs a haircut. Where is, I know he does it. Hair. No. Yeah, the curly ass head? No. I already cut his hair. You kept them baby curls in too long. I seen him walk by. Look at him. Look at him go. No. It's hey, Dennis, shorter. I can actually see a little bit of Anne Hathaway yes, there. I, I, I can see a little too. bit, right? Yes. I, I see more, more of Anne Hathaway than Elizabeth. Yes. Yeah. All right, so this one again, two fifty for the raw comic, guys. If you are just joining and you have not given the show a thumbs up, please do. It means a lot to us, and this is the first night that we put together the show without Jen. So it's like shit. We hope we didn't mess this up. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Um, before we call it for the night, though, we have to add. This is Chad King. So Chad or Chad Cave. Sorry, Chad, if you're out there, listen. This is for you. Chad's favorite. Ooh. Ooh, nice pick, Chad. Oh, it's got like the the frayed like. Remember when like Daisy Dukes and they took the shorts and fray them? Uh, yeah. These are frayed like undies. Mm, is this David? Wow. Mm -hmm. She looks pretty oh. powerful. Oh, there's a signature. I was gonna ask. Wow. Black yeah, nails. Look at the black nails. Oh, she. I didn't oh even yeah, that. yeah. Okay, wow. yeah. This is this this is really that, nice. That's fire. Bro. I just have a question. How is that thing holding? that mm -hmm. like, one wrong I'll twist it's gone take Dude, she's tippy take toeing, bro take she's tippy take toeing. <laughs> that's a thing now that is an outfit <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh yeah this is oh. this is very nice i like the black on black i think that's really pretty uh the hair is on point trish if you're out there how much does this go for do we have any stats on this didn't even look. I just pulled up the image for you guys. Let me pull it up for you, Chad, because I'm that nice. Fifteen of bucks for the trade duress. It looks like. Really? Man, uh, Laura, refresh your slides because I added a slide. Uh, you guys look up the stats on that while I handle the behind the Let's scenes stuff. See. Yeah, it looks like fourteen fourteen ninety nine no, for the trade dress, twenty nine ninety nine for the Virgin. Is that an exclusive or is just like a? Yeah, that's an exclusive. Well, I think all David does is exclusive covers now. I don't know if he does too many just regular covers. Aside from the, the Gwenverse, I know Marvel Gwen contract and doing. that new Gwenverse coming up. So he's doing a lot of the, the regular covers, but he did some exclusive Ooh. variants for that as well. Uh, here's some of the other ones. Let's see what we got here. Madeline Pryor never looked better. I don't like this one as much as I like this X-Men 7. So they, they all have their faves. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, There's so many good ones that there's no way we could have covered them all in one night. There, there were just There's just too many. Um, that's what I'm saying. We need to do like fine. Nakayama art versus, like throw up two covers and just have the people decide, and they'll climb the ladder till we get the crowned champion. <laughs> Hi, John. <laughs> Good to see you. In. <laughs> um, all right, so we ended on this one. That was like the the monster of the night. Where if you guys have the money and the if the ability to buy this one, it's solid. Uh, uh, Anthony, this was yours that you added. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, I released the full so image art today. Beautiful. This is, uh, I, I've been saying, kicking it off 2022 uh, correct. This is the first Bird City Comics exclusive launch of 2022. Uh, Ivan Tao, fantastic artist. Put this together for Dracolina number one. These will be available wow. for pre-sale this Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Find the IG post or the Facebook post because there's a little link. And if you click the link, uh, it's going to take you to our notification stuff. So um, you'll be notified when it's live oh as opposed to our number, dude. write it down or whatever. Fancy. Like, right? call the cops, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> wow. So so Red Hood and Lucy, you guys get over to that that uh, Discord chat because those are available for you guys to show off and, and make wow. some comments. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm sharing man. it right now. Hold on, hold on. I was already here and sharing it. <laughs> That's my girl. Okay. And you didn't yeah, you have to tell there. me that. You know I'm going to. I got all the different formats for you guys already set in the format tab. So IG, thumbnail formats. Um, I do it all. So I got to do is post it to your peoples and say nice things about me. And, and have it's you so noticed, good. And, and have you noticed, and that every time I, I share it, I always add the link on my mm -hmm. story. My girl. You're, You're the best like at that. A lot of J. Scott Campbell influence, right? Mm -hmm. On that. Yeah, oh, for sure. There's something about the way uh, Tao does his skin. People are like, you can tell it's him just by the way his, his skin's drawn and the color that he low. He, he doesn't puts even a lotion on its skin. <laughs> 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 oh, we're sure you're a big fraud person. <laughs> this is the image that Chad was messaging me about. He's like, she's, she's a contortionist. Like, that bend is not possible. Bend. You hurt yeah. yourself doing Maybe. Bro, you know. can see your ribs, bro. No, oh, the shading. She needs this to is eat. So beautiful. She needs tacos. She needs tacos. <laughs> she needs some tacos. It looks like she was fun. snacking on something. She does it, right? She got yeah, she has booty, so she's not she's not that starved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vanilla. So she's eating. What's she eating? What is that? She's got them sharp nails and blood on her fingers. Mm -hmm. Dripping off her lips. Oof. There's blood in her hair, bro. Yeah. She's a, she's a, yeah. It goes down. It goes down in the, the dynamite box. <laughs> when is this launch it? It's coming Dracula, out Friday. Friday pre-sale starts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys see the picture? Wait, see see the zoomed up part, Laura, of her head right underneath the Draclina. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tell Laura how I dirty. what I said. <laughs> She's got <laughs> they'll circle back around to it. She got the little tongue hanging out. She's got a little She's blood on her little chin. Like this is dirty. Zoom yeah, in. There's some dirty here. Where's the neck? The neck is kind of like over here. Who cares? Right, right about <laughs> right there. That's, there's the neck. Uh, there's a he made some that look like uh, it could be a part of the set. Like, there's a Vampirella that he did that looked like. He did like a Vampirella this. really similar. He's like, I'd like to create a collectible set. And I'm like, it's, do your thing, bro. It's perfect. I think it's just such a well done piece. But all right. Um, aw, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be, try and be real mature looking at this. And I go, I wonder what yeah, she's like, thinking. Hmm. Hmm. What is she thinking? Yeah. What is she thinking? Hmm. Lucy, what is she thinking? Okay. Oh, beautiful. I don't know, but I can't she, think <laughs> because I, she's it's thinking so the taco gorgeous. truck. She can see it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Hey, yeah. Right. Put the taco truck in the background. <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> Barbacoa. That's, that's my blood. That's a, the barbacoa juice. Off, right? <laughs> <laughs> Draculina oh, does keto. That's funny. <laughs> she does a lot of squads. Yeah, she's working out all day long. So, guys, if you haven't already, please follow us over at Bird City Comics on Instagram. We are now on TikTok. Uh, make sure you go to the site. You can subscribe to our newsletter. We have like this little text line. We're not annoying about it. You'll just get like a text whenever we're dropping something new or if there's a coupon or something like that. Uh, so it's definitely worth tuning into if you don't want to miss out on some of the stuff that we drop. And at Red Hood Comic on Instagram as well. And whatnot, correct? Yeah, whatnot. I, I had a show last night. It was pretty good. Uh, was using that sudden death, man. I went through a shitload of books, man. So, uh, <sighs> yeah, I'm going to try and go on later on this week again. That was pretty fun. But, man, I just hate shipping. God, it sucks. <sighs> Oh mm -hmm. my God! That's yes, the, the shipping, and then you know I'm the same. Like I get because I I want to ship right away, so I don't have to deal with it later. So I pack the same day and try to ship the same day, and it's 
I hate it when people just buy one book and they buy it for like super fucking cheap, like a dollar, two dollars. And then I look at my Gemini's where it took me like three weeks to get my Gemini's in. And, and I'm they're like, 73 cents. Yeah. And I'm like, I got to send this dude to Gemini. Like I'm, I'm worried about more of the Gemini than the book, man. I'm just like, there you go. Look at Luis. Yeah. The text process. So yeah, if you guys head over to our website, you can sign up for a text message reminder as opposed to like getting in the email, which has kind of been the industry standard. So we do text and I do respond when you're texting, you're texting me. Um, it's not my you phone literally number. are like it goes directly to us. Um, so yeah. remember that too, because like if you write something bad, we read it. Like we read all of them. Yeah, um, don't don't write me. Don't send me dirty <laughs> pictures to that text line though. <laughs> because we really do get it. Um, anyway, so let's see. Last but not least, uh, put this up. Lucy, Jen, and I all have our own channel called Nearing Nirvana that goes live on Fridays right before the Hot Ten. So make sure you subscribe to that and check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And then, of course, Bird City Comics, follow us. And I think that's everything for tonight. Guys, anything else you want to mention before we let them go? No, I'm going I'm to get that Trish book, that that crypto. I got to have oh, it. Yeah. Cece, you just got to stay with us. Really? That's you texting me? <laughs> well, it's either Anthony, myself, or our warehouse manager. But yeah. We we get all the texts and they're really yeah, so professional sounding. They're Laura. <laughs> if they got typos. They're mine. <laughs> That's very true. Orale, that means his name to me. Orale, <laughs> yeah. what's up? Those are mine. Yeah, those those are Anthony. If he's being like, I'll come in. Like you can't call people bro in your messages. He's like, why not? I'm like, ah. anyways. Life is short, you know. So like, you know, as long as everybody's cool, like. I, yep. I, I don't I don't worry about being like super PC anymore or whatever. Life is short, man. Yeah. You know? I'm just me. I don't I can't fake it. This is right. Just be yourself. You know, Hopefully everybody you like knows spicy. who you are. Hopefully you like spicy and if not, yeah. Uh <laughs> If I miss a word or two, it's me, Anthony. You can call me bro. Okay, good. There you go. Bro. Yeah, yeah. That's my bro. Bro. If it's all good evening, customer. We apologize for the inconvenience. That's me. <laughs> yeah. If I'm like, hey, bro, it's on his way. Why don't you just relax? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's, <your> day. <laughs> That's where like bro has about 20 different meanings. Oh, hell no. Like, don't tell me bro. to relax. <laughs> oh, he will. He'll be like, Ooh. it'll get there when it gets there. And I'm like, ants. I don't think. <laughs> Oh, shout out to my wife. She bought me this super cool Chardonnay exclusive oh, nice. Dallas Cowboys. Josh. Nice. You can only get it at Specs. So. Oh, Dallas Cowboys. Did Go Cowboys. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right. Very good. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, follow us. Give us a show, the show a thumbs up. And we will be back next Tuesday. In the meantime, have a great night.